Hello, hello. Today we're going to be talking about some rare fruits. We have ice cream beans, we have Suriname cherries, and we have cherimoya. The ice cream bean is this right here. It is, uh, there's several species that are called by the common name ice cream bean. And what you're looking at here is the, the seed pod of it. They range from these short ones about the length of a hand all the way up to about three feet or so. And let me cut one of these open. The pod contains seeds, black seeds that are surrounded by this uh, white pulp. Beautiful large seeds and this white pulp is the part that you eat. Let me take some of that out. And uh, it has the texture, some describe it as cotton candy. Um, it really is very similar to the flavor of vanilla ice cream, hence the name. Really sweet, uh, quite nice. The seeds you want to just kind of work around. Um, but the, the white flesh there is what you're looking for. Really is kind of a neat novelty. Um, culinarily speaking, I'm not sure exactly how it would be best suited. Probably just eating out of hand like this. Um, it is kind of an amazing dessert if you were starving in the wild. Other than that, I'm not exactly sure, but it is kind of a neat thing. If you haven't tried it, you definitely uh, should. Suriname cherries, also called patanga, is uh, these small red ribbed berries. They look really similar to a cherry. However, not related to cherries. They're actually related to guava or cloves, allspice, uh, even eucalyptus. and actually kind of has a eucalyptus flavor to it. What you're looking for here is really deep red, soft to the touch, thin-skinned uh, fruit. The, uh, the thin skin kind of makes it really hard for commercial value or gives it a challenge anyway. Um, you want to kind of stay away from the underripe ones, the green, orange colored ones, you know, they should be avoided because uh, they're just kind of not going to have as good a, you know, taste to it. The riper they are, the sweeter they are. Um, they have almost like a resinous flavor that uh, um, almost really similar to green bell pepper or cilantro. Um, a lot of people say it is a required uh, taste, but I really do like it. Uh, Brazil uses them to make jams, also really great relishes, or uh, my favorite is the uh, chiffon pie, really kind of a unique item. Cherimoya is this guy here. There's several, several different varieties of them. Some of them you'll see with the, the thumbprint almost looking fruit. There's also other ones that have a little more spiny. Um, most of them are egg shaped, velvety skin like that, light green in color. And what you're looking for is uh, soft to the touch. That kind of de determines the ripeness of it. We'll cut one of these open here. It's also called the custard apple. And the white pulp has an amazing, almost banana, vanilla, mango, papaya, pineapple flavor to it. It really is uh, a nice treat. The texture of it's really smooth textured and uh, almost like custard, which is you know how it got its name. And you again, I mentioned that you want to touch it. It's almost like a avocado. You know, you want that just a little bit of firmness there, but still a little uh, pressure applied to it. And uh, you can add chunks of this to tropical fruit salads, mash it up and uh, freeze it. It makes a really amazing semi-fredo. Also works well uh, baked in a tart, kind of topped with berries. I think that sweet and uh, um, tart thing really works well together. So that's kind of the rare fruit department this week, and that's what's hot in the cooler.